Good evening everyone, it's the 11th of January, it's Thursday evening. I've entitled this video tonight, What About Heaven? You know, everybody wants to go to heaven, right? I met a fellow one time, told me he didn't want to go to heaven. Can you imagine someone saying they didn't want to go there? Well, the word heaven is described over 500 times in the Bible. 1 Peter 1 4 says, To an inheritance incorruptible and undefiled that fadeth not reserved in heaven for you. To an inheritance incorruptible and undefiled reserved in heaven for you. I've often found it interesting to see that heaven is described as the dwelling place of God and also the fact that heaven is a created place. There are many, many places in the Bible that talk about the fact that he created the heavens and the earth. And um, Acts 1.11 You men of God stand ye gazing up into heaven this same Jesus which is taken up from you into heaven shall so come in like manner as ye have seen him go into heaven. First Kings 8.27 But will God indeed dwell on the earth? Behold the heaven and heaven of heavens cannot contain thee. How much less this house that I have builded. The heaven is the Lord's thy God. Deuteronomy 10.14 Revelation 11, 12, And they heard a great voice from heaven, saying unto them, Come up hither. And they ascended up to heaven in a cloud, and their enemies beheld them. Heaven is also described as a wonderful place. We find the description of it in the book of Revelation, there's 12 gates to the city and all of these different jewels make up the city. Chalcedony, um, pearls, and it names all the different uh, jewels that make up the city in the streets of gold. Revelation 21 1 I saw a new heaven and a new earth for the first heaven and the first earth were passed away and there was no more sea Matthew 24 30 and then there shall appear the sign of the Son of Man in heaven and then shall all the tribes of the earth mourn and they shall see the Son of Man coming in the clouds of heaven with power and great glory Psalm 119, 89, Forever, O Lord, thy word is settled in heaven. Again, the place that Christ abides, the, the place where Christ seats, seats, is seated on his throne is in heaven. Job 16, 19, And now, also now, behold, my witness is in heaven, and my record is on high. Lamentation 3.15 Till the Lord look down and behold from heaven. Psalm 115.15 Year blessed of the Lord which made heaven and earth. 
Job 26.11, the pillars of heaven tremble and are astonished at his reproof. Luke 10.18, and he said unto them, I beheld Satan as lightning falling from heaven. Psalm 134.3, the Lord that made heaven and earth bless thee out of Zion. Job 22.14, Thick clouds are covering to him that he seeth not, and he walketh in the circuit of heaven. Mark 1.11, There came a voice from heaven, saying, Thou art my beloved Son, in whom I am well pleased. Acts 1.10, And while they looked steadfastly toward heaven, as he went up, behold, two men stood by them in white apparel. Again, there's over 19 pages of the, of the search that I did on heaven, 19 pages. And like I said, 551 times heaven is mentioned in the Bible. Luke 22:43 and there appeared an angel unto him from heaven strengthening him Psalm 33:13 the Lord looketh from heaven he beholdeth all the sons of men Judges 5:20 they fought from heaven the stars in their courses fought against Sisera Psalm 124, 8, Our help is in the name of the Lord who made heaven and earth. 2 Samuel 22, 14, The Lord thundered from heaven, and the Most High uttered his voice. Psalm 136, 26, So give thanks unto the God of heaven, for his mercy endureth forever. Psalm 89, 29, His seed also will I make to endure forever in His throne as the days of heaven. Psalm 73, 25, Whom have I in heaven but thee? And there is none upon earth that I desire beside thee. Well, it's really interesting how that in the context of Scripture, heaven is used. There are many times heaven is referred to as the kingdom of heaven. Um, there, there are three heavens described. The first heaven, the second heaven, and the third heaven. And the Lord resides in the third heaven. Nehemiah 2 4 then the king said to me for what dost thou make request so I prayed to the God of heaven Psalm 80 14 return we beseech thee O God of hosts look down from heaven and behold and visit this vine Psalm 103 11 for as the heaven is high above the earth so great is his mercy toward them that fear him. Revelation 13:13 13, 13, He doeth great wonders so that he maketh fire come down from heaven on the earth in the sight of men.
Revelation 21, 2, And I, John, saw the holy city, New Jerusalem, coming down from God out of heaven, prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. Well, I'm looking forward to going to heaven. I'm kind of tired of residing on this old earth. I'm looking for uh, the new Jerusalem coming down out of God out of heaven. Mark 16:9. So then after the Lord had spoken to them, he was received up into heaven and set on the right hand of God. Matthew 5.12 Rejoice and be exceedingly glad, for great is your reward in heaven, for so persecuted they the prophets which were before you. In the very first verse of the first chapter of Genesis, in the beginning God created the heaven and the earth. Second Kings 2 1 it came to pass when the Lord would take up Elijah into heaven by a whirlwind that Elijah went with Elisha from Gilgal. Psalm 14 2 the Lord looked down from heaven upon the children of men to see if there were any that did understand and seek God. Luke 24, 51, and he came to pass while he blessed them. He was parted from them and carried up into heaven. Well, I could go on and go through all 19 pages of this, but I'm not going to go through all this tonight. But heaven is a place where God resides, paradise. He told the thief on the cross, this day you will be with me in paradise. There will be no more tears in heaven. It will wipe away all tears from our eyes. There will be no sin in heaven. It will be a, a place of perfect communion with God and our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. So let us look forward to that day when we will be with the Lord in heaven. And... He says in First Chronicles 29, 11, Thine, O Lord, is the, is the greatness and the power and the glory and the victory and the majesty. For all that is in the heaven and in the earth is thine. Thine is the kingdom, O Lord, and thou art exalted as head above all. Well, I hope you all have a good weekend coming up and let us look forward to that time when we will be ushered in the presence of God in heaven. God bless.